story. Now, Rashad has a story about one of these so-called prophets and pastors. Check it out. Go on, Rashad. Yeah, so a pastor was, you know, I was talking to a pastor on the phone, and I was, I was just calling for a prayer, like a prayer request. Yeah. So I just pray for him. And then he started, like, telling me some stuff and, like, somewhat trying to prophesy and stuff. And then he, he at the end, he asked me for some money. I forgot <laughs> how much he asked me for, but he said, sow a seed and you will, you, you know, sow a seed, act on faith or something like that, like, try to get you to give him money. Yeah. And so I don't think I did. I don't I, I, know I didn't. But um, the next day, I called. Uh, I said, "Let me," because he said some things, and I want to call him back. Right. He, didn't, he must have talked to a lot of people because he didn't realize who I was. Yeah. And what he did was he went through the whole thing again. You mean the same he, thing he prophesied the night before exactly. on you? He said the exact exactly. same thing again. The same thing. The so same it thing. sounded so he like he was reading, didn't it? We, yeah, yeah, like I could tell he's done this a lot. So he he he, he say the same thing. Again. Skit. Like he, it's a skit. He say the money. Let me get the. And then, and he said he said all that stuff, and then he say, "So a seed of this and now." And you, you can tell the way he did it. I could tell that you know he he he. he this is where he do. Wow. You know, they, do, they just do that to get money out of people. A lot of them do that. They have prophesied you. And they'll say all kinds, like I've had pastors tell me some, you know, prophesying and saying this and that, they see this and that happening. And um, so a seed of this amount of money, $50 or something like that, so a seed. And it'll happen. Give me a gift. No. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. So it's, 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 it's strange that, you know. That is sad too because now it's like you really don't have a it's you don't know who who was you know I mean you got to test the spirit of course you really have to test the, spirit. test the spirit and yes I, I pray, yeah you do you so really I, do pray for discernment yes if you're a person that don't know because at that time I don't think I knew I really didn't understand but that was like I don't even know like four or three years ago yep so at that time I really didn't know I was just was, you know because that's what I was going through my thing and I was. You know, trying to get prayer requests and, and all these pastors that tell me stuff and then they ask for money. And I was going like, why are they always asking for money? Right. Why is that, like, is it my soul is more important or is it the money you just looking for? Right. Which one? <laughs> right. Exactly. Right. Exactly. One of the told me after this thing I saw. What? That, what uh, happened? I think it's a name. Yes. Yes. Like, I've he, heard he on TV. Yes. And he says he likes, he likes new money. He doesn't like old money. Oh. <laughs> He's like, I like, and he, I come to the guy next to him, like, don't you like new money? I like, I love, I, I, you know, it's the feeling of it. I love it. Like, he's sitting there saying all this stuff. Okay, I got to repeat what you said because I want everybody to hear what you said. Peter said, there's a particular pastor, I won't name him, he did, but he said that when you give, he likes new money. He doesn't like old money. Now, what kind of mess is that? And guess what? That's the person that trained the person I saw with all the spangle and dangle, looking all flamboyant, asking for money, money, money. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Oh, so the one you were talking about, that's real. That's real. That's yeah. real. And he was trained. He, he proudly says he was trained by the one that Peter just mentioned. Wow. See, you always reflect your leadership. 